Hi guys, welcome to this uh, video. I'm building it, of making it on the ISO build for May. And this is Plasma and uh, Super F7 virtual box is installed, but let's have a look. I don't have the template ready, so add. I have a template that has just uh, zipped, unzipped, uploaded, etc. There's only one thing I need to check this PC has a little bit more base memory than the others. So I can give it a little bit more if I wanted to. You see 32, it's quite a bit. So eight is surely enough for a virtual machine. VBOX SVGA is set. So basically I'm good to go. I do a clone and I call this one Arcan Lakes B. I'll introduce to you now F V WM number three, so version three, meaning there is a version two. We just meant, went to the last version and skipped version two altogether. Ctrl Alt G, so the topic is a new desktop, a new ISO, and it's available. You can download it now. Uh, let's go to, let's see if we can find Belnet Arcolex. Let's see if we can find it via Google. And it is, it's there. So Belnet is one of the servers. Uh, please download there since it doesn't cost us anything. What you download here and seat host is paid. SourceForge is also free. And it's the same, right? We had to pay, we, we have to pay anyway for this um, syncing anyway. So go get the AAG. So there is this Arconix auditing group at um, the beginning the, f the second week normally of the month well every other month we share to the world our ISOs that we will release so this one is now in mid releases and we say give it a go give it a try we think it's good to release and um, that's what we're gonna do download it from here let's see at the speed four minutes left for three minutes left two minutes left go so we're downloading this from here ftp belnet and bell sense for belgium of course and there is a lot more there's a lot more i don't know if we can do it like this let's have a look in the meantime we're already halfway so debian is here we used to download this from universities as well ubuntu releases are here and there are mirrors for different kind of distros as well i thought but we're only there four seconds five seconds okay so we got ourselves an iso what do you do you mount this particular iso in your system so optical drive choose a disk file go to downloads go to arcanix b and then load it up so it has indeed a numbering already of may but it's just a number remember it's just all just nothing more than that making it big and then Control f making it full screen so the right Control f that is nice virtualbox is our main virtual machine VMware works, but we recommend you use VirtualBox. That is really supported. That's what we use all the time. And this will be your new desktop. It looks a bit different. It's always different, right? There's, there's no rule um, that it should be the same. Of course not. It's, it's all different desktops. This is number 22. 22 desktops that we have right and this is a bit strange so we have nine screens here nine workspaces times three yeah we have 28 uh, 27 i guess yeah 27 uh workspaces so that's just crazy and we have here the button we can either update our Shinlix mirrors if you want to if you think it's gonna be slow because you downloaded it and you're living in in India or Australia or etc 
updated. We have the Arconix Calamaris tool that hopefully we will not need in the future. Uh, Calamaris uh, is working on my suggestion to add it to the list so we can inside Calamaris click save done and then run gparted if you want to clean anything up anything uh, hardware or hard disk related have a look what the situation is now and then start cleaning things and stuff like that so we need, don't need that as well oh by you go and then we install run Calamaris we're using version 3.2.39.1. We're already at three at this point in time. Next, and you keep on installing, choosing if you know already things you would like to install, you click, or you just go through like me, and then later on the things you say, ah, oh, missing this, missing that. Pseudo Pacma minus S, simple. This is something we, actually often include because then we have already stuff to talk to people discord and telegram is there stuff to search we use melt all the time get the hat applications we love basically that's in the dev but not only love need erase no swap you choose what kind of swap with 32 gigabytes I don't need a swap. No, sir. So is that that? Um, while that's doing its thing, we can already have a look. Let's go to another desktop. There are desktops enough to go. We have the Conkey that's gonna help us with keyboard shortcuts. They will work, right? But um, let's take a look at here at the top, maybe main and code already. So as long there is nothing, it doesn't stay. As when I open something up, then it will stay right so now i'm on this screen here where the terminal is the design is a little bit uh, different how it all works and, and and yeah it's not the tiling window manager right it's it's a bit uh yeah different right <laughs> if you click on this button then you get you lose actually your application you can't get to the application that's plasma kicking in the corner down but um, how to get it back, right? So there's an alt tab, and that's the way how I find my things back. Alt tab and super tab. Super tab stays open, I can navigate. And with alt tab, I can just go like this. So that's that already, <laughs> that's a bit strange. Um, there is the left button. I'm not, use, not fond of the menu, I mean, it's, it's okay, the, the, there is a menu there and everything is included with XDG, there is a little thing, but it takes me too much time to go and navigate through these things. I find that a Super Shift D is much faster, which is the D menu and go look for Firefox like this and launch it with an enter. Everybody his own choice. Super F11 is there too if you want it, but you need to install Rofi and the Rofi themes um, there is an old F2, GM run is there, and there is an old F3, which is of course the one you probably know of, recognize anyway. That's the XFCE application. Since all these, um, well, desktops often are incomplete as a sense of an operating system, as a desktop environment, we often rely on elements of other systems, and, and XFCE is one of those desktops that really is interesting because they have all separate applications and you can launch them without the assistance without the the, the um, necessity to have the complete xfc there just an, an app that is going to show me all the um, elements actually in user share application because often in the beginning right you don't know the name of the lego blocks and you wonder What's the name again to get the system or the, the printer going, right? And then, ah yeah, that's it, print settings, which is actually system config printer, right? But at some point in time, you all know, you, you start to learn all these names. So print, and that this is the name, system config printer. So it's all these things that, um, that matter and that um, you need to know. How about Calamaris? Still busy. 
So we have the left, sorry, yeah, correct, the left button, which gives us a few things, the pager, Thunar, Termite, Sublime, Logout, fine. Um, so that's the pager here. Restart is an interesting button. So right mouse click, that's restart. Left button, I keep mixing them up. It's, uh, yeah, getting used to refreshing, restarting the uh, desktop itself. So you'll see everything get, well, flashes a little bit like that. You see everything flash, voila. So we've restarted this particular um, desktop. Every desktop has something similar. So we can restart really for, for real, right? So restart now. And I'll set you already in the, in the direction um, how to work with this particular desktop. And later, I think much later, we'll make more tutorials. But the point is, have a go at it and um, give us feedback, anything we should change or stuff like that. So that was Super C, Conky, Kill, Super C. So um, Polybar is up here with some things. There's a volume here, network, variety is here. So Alt N works fine. And then we have here so the button here for Hammock. Are we up to date? Ctrl T, update your machine. You get this question uh, to change. So we are combining similar, same, not similar, same configs into one. So config all desktops is if we can use the configuration files for all of them, which leaves less conflicts later on. And that's the reason. So that's okay. So yes, always yes. Arclinks, yes. <laughs> and then it's of course in your ETC scal. If you don't know yet what scal is, right? Go search for the word scal on arclinks.com. There's a great article. Why we introduced it, what's the advantage and what's the disadvantage? So scale is done. So it's super X, logging out, logging in. So this is our login screen. It's SDDM at this point. We used to have LightDM, it was working great, but had a clash with a certain driver, that's why. So what else can I tell you? Where are the files? Where are the files? Control H. So this is the normal look. Control H is the hidden look. I did a scale, which means I made a backup of the dot config already. The thing is, you can always compare again and put your data back again, right? If it doesn't work, think, think, and then you realize, right, Arclinux B's are always minimal, which means I need to sudo B in the window here, sudo pacman minus s melt it wouldn't occur if i have if i had installed the Arclinux dev there on calamars right so these two guys and then compare or melt and you know the differences you don't want to know the same stuff you want to know the differences so this has been changed these elements you can have a look at okay so where is the data of, there we go, FVWM. That's one folder you need to know. Here is the configuration, XD menu, that's this thing, XD G menu. That's the configuration files. Here are the themes, so you can change themes. Yeah, you can have fun with themes. And the images, backgrounds, backgrounds, icons, launchers, window icons, stuff like that. And then we have the config. And in here, there's also a config, this one. And we have the key bindings here. So the sexy hotkey daemon. It's actually the simple X hotkey daemon, but it doesn't does sound better, the first option. Pycom is there for transparency and all that. And shadow, so the settings are in here. 
system overview. I think that's this little conky down here and the XCG money is here as well. And the scripts, the toggle comping. So uh, transparency on, transparency off the Python toggle. So that's with this information, you can find everything you need. It's in those, those two uh, folders. There's no file anywhere. Not I can see, it's just those two. And the main actually being this little guy up here. It's a long list. Opla, we don't have a text editor. So sudo pacman minus s sublime. Off you go. Boom. How easy it is, right? And then you open it up. And yes, guys, how many lines do you have to read? You have to read about a thousand lines and figure out what is what. So it's divided into, well, chapters, let's say, or something like that, right? Functions, styles, color sets, menus, bindings, the core modules and the pagers. The pager is a thing down here. And then the launcher, which we have omitted, it's there, but it's, it's okay, but it's not that nice. So just a choice there. So here's the pager and here's the launcher. And maybe it helps again. This is plain text. Put it to Perl, which means a little bit more color. That's one thing. But also, everything that's black is just not used. And that's also interesting to know, okay, this is just gibberish and this is not used at all because it's black. Right? This whole bunch is not used. There's a lot of coding possibilities, a lot of... Um, things you could change and completely change the look of this uh, desktop. So it has potential, but um, you need to have time and to keep at it and focus so you can actually completely rework the configuration. This is basically still very much the original one because we want to compare, melt, right? with an edition coming next month, next year, next five years. And then you have still the same layout and you can quickly compare this line is extra, that's a new option, that's out, that's not working anymore and stuff like that. We've made our own um, variables up here, declaration of the variable. So that's our idea to say, okay, the pictures, this is the name, the variable and it equals to home pictures. Well, pictures, right? Um, if you set your desktop to Italiano or French or German, then it will change. It won't be pictures, it won't be something else. So you set it up here and then it will be fine. So here are the themes, the classic themes, the icons, classic, you can change between all these guys. I mean, it goes on and on and on. So um, give it a try. Here we execute the volume icon, which is this link, little button up here, which goes to powerful control. Things we need, right? Because we need to set the Bluetooth and the headset and this and the webcam and the sound. We need it to set it and then we can forget it. The wallpaper is set and so on and so on. All right, have fun with this new desktop. This is number 22 for us. It's great, it's, um, it's different again. It's another feel. And it's all about often uh, workflow. You say, oh, it's not working well because that's it, because you're used to a certain workflow, a certain desktop environment. But just give it a try and maybe you'll like it. All right, cheers.